Welcome to the Cell Biology Unit of the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, where we apply silviculture techniques to improve seed system of staple crops. Here we are working on yam. Yam has a challenge of pests and diseases, so we get desirable varieties and cut the vines as they are doing for introduction into tissue culture and we subject it to heat therapy followed by virus indexing. So the vines that were excised from the mother plants, this is where we introduce it into tissue culture. They are disinfected and after they are inoculated, they stay on the shelf and they grow to become full-grown plantlets. These plantlets are what we subject to what we call heat therapy. And then we put it in what we call the heat therapy cabinet, which eliminates viruses from the plant. It stays at 36 plus or minus 2 degrees centigrade. And then after that, we test it for viruses. These materials on passing the virus indexing are further multiplied also in artificial nutrient medium. Here, this is a fully grown plant tested to be clean. It's subcultured into clean, fresh medium for multiplication or it can go into what we call a temporary immersion bioreactor system to enhance the rapid propagation of the planting materials that are clean that we have produced. This bioreactor system are then taken and subcultured into what we call the VVPAC system on the way to hardening or post flask in the screen house. From here, the materials are transferred into seedling trees, which produces well-grown mother plants from which vines are further cut and mini tubers are produced, which constitute the seeding. These are the bioreactors I was talking about, and it actually has up to double the propagation ratio of conventional system of tissue culture and up to three times efficiency in terms of automation because the plants are aerated due to a pump and then it's fed at timed intervals. So we also have in addition um, work on African yam bean. You will see down here incubation is at blue and red light where we are improving the propagation of what we call African yam bean and underutilized leguminous and tuberous crop which can enhance Africa's food and security resilience. These are the materials from the bioreactors. We saw earlier that they are cut into this substrate having some nutrient solution and it is a one-step propagation and hardening um, protocol. So from here we put it on the shelf and it grows then we transplant it to become seedlings in these small cups. This is soil. It can also be cocoa peat and some other sort of substrate. After about four or five months, we can either cut more vines from it and produce up to 200 vines per plant that we have transplanted. And from each vine, we produce what we call breeder seed. In the former seed system, breeder seed is the most premium class of seed from which foundation and commercial seeds are produced. So come let's go and see what happens when the breeder seeds are planted to produce foundation seed and commercial seed from which the wear yam that are consumed by the populace are produced. Welcome to the aeroponics unit. You recall that I showed you some seedlings right in the lab, which were put in those small cups. There are two options for those seedlings. It can 
go to a bigger pot and then we cut vines from it or it comes into what we call aeroponics. Now I'll take you through into what happens in the aeroponics. So, those seedlings in cups that we saw right in the laboratory are planted in aeroponics like this. These seedlings they take about three to four months and become fully grown as we have here. It forms a real like forest vegetation so that from each of those plants we cut single node vines, each one potentially able to produce additional tuber. And those vine cuttings are transferred to these nursery trees. These are the seedlings up to 200 can be obtained from one mother plant from the laboratory. Each of these seedlings are allowed to grow in pots or in mini sack bags to give seed yam, planting material, which we now call foundation seed. These are different sizes of the seed yam, foundation seed yam. This is less than 50 grams. This is 50 to 140 grams. This is 150 to 300 grams and this is 300 to 500 grams. So these are what the farmers plant or the commercial seed producers to produce the wear yam. And at this time, when we do not have the full um, canopy because of the season, it's just good to show the full story here. This is the bioreactor and they are planted in aeroponics. The aeroponics grows into a full canopy and on the aeroponics we have some plants producing area tubers which are seed. We have also under the table tubers that can serve as seed yam and each of them single nodes are cut from each of them and they produce seedlings as shown in the pot and these seedlings are moved to the field to produce tubers up to four kgs. Some are wear size and some foundation seed. As shown earlier, they are in different categories. Thank you very much for your time and this is what we have been doing to change the seed system of yam in West Africa from informal to formal and impact farmers' lives.